Hello YouTube and welcome to Zulala. This time we're asking the age-old question, why are zebras stripy? You see, the theory of why zebras are actually stripy is a lot more complicated than you might initially think. The answer to this week's Zulala is definitely not black and white. Black and white is a classic combination in nature. Pandas, ring-tailed lemurs, skunks, badgers, penguins, pied flycatchers. But why such a contrast fueled lifestyle? Well, it turns out that lots of animals are actually colorblind. So if you're not black or white, you just end up being a dirty gray color. And who wants that? That's better. The idea is that being stripy and high in contrast, you blend in with your surroundings much better than if you were a solid block of color. All good and well in theory. Sorry, mate, I think you're in shot. Trying to do something here. Anyway, what exactly does this mean for the zebra? When did you last see a zebra hiding in the grass? That one certainly isn't, and that one's just walking around, and that one's not either. I see a pattern emerging here, and it's definitely not a stripy one. Most of the zebra's predators do possess a degree of color vision, which means that high contrast black and white animals stick out like a sore thumb. Well, zebras don't really have thumbs, but I wouldn't mess with a sore zebra. So if you're not blending in with a grassy background, what can you blend in with? Well, if there happen to be about a thousand other zebras around, you could blend in with them. This second theory is that as a herd of zebra run, their moving bodies blend into each other, making it very hard indeed for a predator to pick out any one individual to make a kill. In fact, this might be why a herd of zebra are called a dazzle. Dazzling. But the theories don't stop there. The third idea we have for you is that like a barcode, their stripes help identify their own species. So much so that when an ass was painted with stripes and let loose into a zebra herd, he was accepted as part of the tribe. Apparently, he even got lucky. But recent research has shown that the stripes of a zebra may help it in one final less obvious way. Fly deterrent. It's meant to be a fly, come on, we're, we're wildlife program makers. It's gonna hurt my credibility. Studies have shown that when flies are presented with a black model, white model, and a stripy model, the stripy model, which is basically the zebra, comes up way on top in terms of not being bothered by the flies. It's all to do with the polarization of light. Flies, it turns out, are quite sensitive to the way that light reflects off things. They particularly like the way that light bounces off water on a horizontal plane. The vertical stripes of a zebra reflect light in the completely opposite way to that of water. This means that the flies are less attracted to the zebra and the zebra are less hassled by this nuisance. So there we have it, or more accurately, there we have a bunch of answers with a maybe or a could be or, you know what, let's ask a completely different question. A zebra is white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Well, that question we can answer. The zebra fetuses start out entirely black in the womb. The white stripes develop across their bodies as they grow until they're born in full monochrome glory not to mention gory. Ugh. If you've got a question for our Zulala team to tackle, post it in the comments box below. But as you've seen from this episode, we can't promise to get it right 100% of the time, but we can promise to try. Until next time on Zulala. -la. Chris, I'm sorry, I can't work with this. Hi, Mom. I can't, I can't do it's this. Me. I'm going to my trailer.